Hey guys, I hope you're doing well today. This is actually going to be my Pan That Palette finale for my Perfusion Metallics palette. I am doing it a little bit earlier than I would normally, but I really just want to kind of move on and start the new year fresh, I guess. So I decided to film the finale today. I do think I've made some really good progress in the last month, so I'm excited to share it with you. And then towards the end of the video, I'm going to talk about my plans for next year in 2021. So first, I'm going to insert a picture from my previous update. Here is what my palette looks like currently and for the finale. And I think I made some nice progress as I mentioned. I was able to hit all of my goals and then some this month, which was really nice. I wanted to hit pan on sunny and I did that and a decent amount of pan there. I also hit pan on the shade in focus and it's also a pretty big pan there. I also wanted to hit side pan on adorn and I hit it a little bit down here. I don't know if the camera is gonna pick it up but I ended up hitting side pan on adorn, which is awesome. An extra pan that I had is that I actually hit pan on the shade in sorcery. It's gonna be hard to tell because it is a silver and the pan is also silver, but I think if I lean it back like this, you can kind of see it. I used this in like a silver glitter cool toned look the other day and it was really pretty. And I also paired it with the shade in nebula, which I think I've also expanded the pan on slightly. I haven't used the shade in months, but this shade and sorcery pair really nicely together, and I also played with the blues recently. I think I slightly expanded the pan on Geode, but not a whole lot. I ended up finishing 12 shadows in this palette, and I also hit pan on 11 other shadows. I did not hit pan on this thunder shade, just because I don't tend to use this type of blue very often. I might work on it next year, but I am not going to bring this into 2021 as a pan that palette. I'm just going to use it as I feel like it because I really just want to focus on my other eyeshadows. I do still really like this palette. I love pairing it with other matte shades and I think the quality is really nice on this Perfusion palette. There are a ton of different neutrals and colors so I think you could find a color for every one of your looks that you can create. But I still loved the palette. I still like it today. I'm not super sick of it but I do want to try to get use out of my other shadows that I have. As for Pan That Palette plans for 2021, I know a few of you guys, or probably a lot of you guys will be disappointed to hear, but I'm not going to be doing Pan That Palette in 2021. As of now, it may change throughout the year, but for now I just want to play with all of the shadows in my collection. When I do Pan That Palette, I do feel like that I neglect a lot of my shadows in my collection, most if not all of them except for the palette that I'm using because I'm just trying to make progress on the palette that I'm using at the moment. And I do still use other shadows in my collection. I do make progress and hit pans, as you can see in my products I've hit pan on videos. It's not always my pan that palette at the time, but I just wanna get more use out of my collection. And I've been doing pan that palette since I started my channel, which was five or six years ago now, which is super crazy. I can't believe it's been that long, but I've been doing pan that palette like literally ever since I started my channel. So I just wanna take a break. I've been doing it for years. <laughs> So I hope you guys will understand and kind of hear where I'm coming from because I just want to play with my eyeshadows and this is just going to be really exciting for me, especially because I'm not wearing makeup every day anymore. So the times that I do wear makeup, I want it to feel special and not like a chore and sometimes I felt like I just wanted to focus on the shadows that I had goals on for the month and I couldn't always like play with my shadows when I was using this palette. I love the variety it has, but even then I still felt stuck sometimes. So I just wanna play with my shadows, as I mentioned, for probably like the 30th time throughout this video. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for supporting my Pan That palette throughout this year or throughout the years that you have been on my channel and supporting my Pan That palette. I really do appreciate it. You Thank you again for watching. I also have a horse channel if you wanna check it out. It is called CNK Equestrian. I'll have it linked down below. Hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you later. Bye.